it might have the signature of an artist on it, but it, it really speaks to a global need. And in that sense, it's way beyond any individual or even any particular community. And this is the one project that, for me, has sustainability and translatability written all over it. Mm -hmm. And um, and so the most impressive aspect for me is the fact that this is a project that could be in every major city in the world right now. And it's imminently transferable because there are, in every country, there are people who are dentists in one country and a taxi driver in another, that are nurses in their home country, but, you know, cleaners, cleaners in another. And these are human resources that are being wasted on a colossal scale all over the world. And I understand the need of calibration, but I also marvel at the wonderful way in which this proposal has been already developed. So it's speaking to a social need, but then to call itself the silent university is an incredibly resonant, you know, it's echoing thunderously about the violence of wasting people's capacities, prompting each society to think about the way in which it wants to use and work with and recognise the value of other human beings. It's to say, how do we in initiate that process of recognising another person's worth and capacity? And, and, and that's a fundamentally social and human thing, but in this instance it's doing that in an interesting and aesthetic way as well by talking about the silences, talking about the, uh, and, and, and enacting it, because if you, if you remember, at the end of the video, it did something very powerful, it said nothing. I am also very much in support of this project. I think, first of all, because it deals with knowledge as an artistic material in a, in a wonderful way. And uh, that's really my fundamental reason. And uh, beyond that, it deals with, uh, with, uh, with a subject that is truly international and that exactly goes beyond refugees. Even though it's, uh, it has a clear uh, uh, authorship with uh, the name of one artist, it is activated in a communal way. And this is really, I mean, this is uh, one of the most beautiful ideas that I've seen actually this year in terms of knowledge sharing, knowledge production, and beautiful aesthetics. Uh, I really believe that it's a project that has this capacity to, to go beyond its, uh, its initial plan, so to speak, to be uh, in terms of modality versus model, uh, to be uh, applied in different places. It's not so much this is a project that has lots of franchises, but rather this is a project that does, it, does itself what it does for itself very interestingly, very powerfully, very beautifully. And the compulsion that comes from that is that other people then say, why haven't I done it here? And then they do it for themselves. It's not that he does it everywhere else, it's that everywhere else does it for themselves. The knowledge that he's tapping onto is really a knowledge that is absolute, most of the time not even known by others than the people who hold it. This is something that exactly as that Nico said, it has been talked about, but it has never been enacted exactly. in that way, and specific, uh, specifically in the context of contemporary art, even in the educational turn, where so much of archive and knowledge and so and so on has been produced. So I, I really think it's a, it's, a, it's, it's a brilliant project. It's really very good. The immigration story is about order versus chaos, about accommodation versus burdens, about um, the destruction of a way of life or the costs of um, resettling people and so on and so forth. And the worst case scenarios are, are the, the violence that's done to these people through detention and through displacement, etc., etc. Now, what I think is very powerful about the Silent University project, apart from everything that we've said previously, 
is also that it turns the attention back to the host. It turns the attention back to the host in order to think about the violence we do through silence. The violence that we do through ignoring the good that is brought to us and the violence that we do by rendering that potential, that capacity, that knowledge invisible. And if one project can make visible something that we've learned to become aloof to, inaudible, and to have rendered, you know, mute and silent, then I think that would be a great outcome. It is a very novel way uh, of, of treating knowledge as an artistic material. And even just for that, I think it's expanding our understanding of uh, artistic practice, even, so, even more so when it's related to a subject that is highly political and that affects us on a daily basis, we may acknowledge it or not. We are complicit of a lot of silencing. And, uh, and this is a reality that is not only uh, real in the Western world, but the high majority of refugees are not those who make it to the West, are those who are migrating among, I mean, in the neighborhood, I mean, in the, in the, in the continent. Right? In the continent. So, uh, be it in Africa, in Latin America, in Asia, and so on. So, and, uh, and when it comes to, uh, 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 to the West, only really higher educated people can really make it here. To make that visible and to make it, to make it, uh, uh, to draw people's attention to the fact that uh, be them refugees, be them migrants, that this group of people is an enrichment. Beyond the fact that it is an enrichment, they come with high, I mean, uh, highly educated most of the time, and, uh, and that education cannot be applied, cannot be uh, consumed, cannot be uh, used, due to structural and prejudice, basically, that is, uh, that is at play. Because I don't really think that language is so much of an issue. I think that the silent university is uh, what I, I is, is the most exciting project for me. Because, because uh, it's a very, it's the, has the same meaning of visible, that is, Trans transfer the invisible invisibility and uh, in, in no voice in voice um, no no uh, no power in kind of power in in, in the relation with what uh, for me it's uh, is uh, con uh, the basic concept of politics this to love difference as a base and, and putting this idea of different knowledge together. Finally, artist um, has to, to forget to be unique and alone. Artist has to, to think that, uh, he has to think uh, uh, number two, basically. Uh, number two. And with the number two, together, you make the, the new dynamic that is the third element that, that never was existed before. And this is the element of creativity. We have to put always two things together and in, in minimum. And, and when, when you start with that, you create a social dynamic huh? that it becomes two, four, six thousand, millions, <laughs> but starting from two. Huh? And this, I think, is, is, is and this university, it can be a good principle to offer the, uh, the, the, the people to, to, to be combined and, and, and teaching. Because university means, it, it means knowledge. It means, it, 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 it means creativity. It means uh, universal. 
the winner is the silent university. Um, so uh, they, Ahmed uh, Oyut and the silent university will receive 25,000 euro to develop the project in Paris and also to support the developments in London, Stockholm and in Berlin.